it seems one of the kind of big interesting things happening, and I'd love to know how much you guys can talk about this, is big data, um, the extent to which a lot of these sort of personalization games or whatever you want to call them are actually a really great way of collecting information about people, learning about them and discovering their preferences. Yep. How much of that is collected, tracked, and sold? So we don't sell any data, um, and we've actually underinvested and underemphasized data because from the, the individual standpoint. A, because it wasn't any of our expertise and everybody was focused on that. So it seemed like, why are we going to go into this big data when everyone seems obsessed about it, when we can focus on the content? So we spend a ton of our time trying to figure out which types of content will perform w well on which network, and that's basically how we optimize. With the quizzes, we started to think about, okay, how can we personalize more? If, if we know that people say that um, their favorite Game of Thrones character um, is a, this particular character, can we do Netflix type stuff where we know better? And we should be able to show them more content that they like. Uh, but that's more interesting to us. In terms of ad targeting, um, using the data to ad target is much less interesting to us than the idea of real human to human sharing. But why that's so interesting because I thought the holy grail of, of all of this was kind of discovering as much as you can about each specific person and then tailoring all of the advertising content specifically to them. No, and what we think more about is the, is the content and thinking more about optimizing the content for the different networks. Like for example, we know that when people come in from, let me see if I'm gonna get this right, when people inbound from Pinterest, they sometimes share, actually where's they sometimes share to, back to Pinterest but they never share to Twitter. They never share to Twitter, okay? So we took the Twitter button off those pages and deprioritized, or we, or we only have the Twitter button on the bottom of the page, not the top page, because people who come from Pinterest want to repin or want to um, Facebook out what they've discovered. That is where we uh, allocate the vast majority of our effort. But I don't understand why that, so, but going back to the point about why, why though still wouldn't you want to collect as much data about, about individual people so that you can better yeah. help advertisers reach who they I, want to reach. I, I think, oh, well, because also we think that people sharing the content to other people is a better form of targeting. So that if you come in and you see that we've done an ad on, um, an ad for Starkist Tuna, which is a real ad about the 20 awesome things about living alone, and they're like single tuna packages, and you're, um, you will share this out because it's a compelling list and it's fun, you're going to share that out to 20 other single friends who maybe the past week you were talking about the benefits and the downsides of living alone, right? You're not going to share that with your mother. So. Now, I'm not saying we wouldn't do personally targeting stuff, but to us, it just seems better to focus our effort on this stuff, which everybody else isn't focusing on. 